how to train fast twitch versus slow twitch muscle fibers. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, many patients ask me, you know, what's the best exercise routine? And the answer is, it depends on what you want to accomplish. If you want to be a better endurance athlete or, or lose weight as quickly as possible, that's one thing. Or do you want more explosive power and more muscular development and more speed power? It you know, requires different types of training depending upon you know, what, the, what the goal is. So there's different types of muscle fibers uh, in your muscle groups. That, and you want to try to train the ones that are specific to the outcome that you're getting for, so let me, shooting for. So let me explain. In any muscle, let's say your bicep muscle is an example, there are uh, two types of muscle fibers. There's your slow twitch muscle fibers, known as the type 1 fiber. And then there's the fast twitch muscle fiber, known as the type 2 fiber. And then there's also an intermediate fiber that the way you train the muscle will decide how that muscle fiber is going to behave. But for right now, let's just talk about slow twitch and fast twitch fibers. When we talk about slow twitch muscle fibers, they're the ones that do more endurance work. And they're more aerobic in nature. They like to burn fat. And when you train them, you know, it improves your ability to burn fat. Uh, you increase the number of fat burning factories inside the muscle. So you just become a better fat burning machine, if you will. And you improve your endurance fitness. And when you do endurance exercise with your slow twitch muscle fibers, you also improve your cardiovascular health. So people who sort of do the elliptical machine, stationary cycling, they jog, they do power walking, it's endurance activity. And you're primarily using the type 1 muscle fiber the slow twitch muscle fiber, which is very aerobic, and will 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 adapt and do and create more of their fat burning uh, adaptation. So you become a better fat burning machine the more you do it, and you become pretty good at endurance. But it doesn't give you explosive strength and power and lots of lean mass development. For that, you need to do sort of more explosive or training or weight training as an as an example. Let's say you're doing weight training, say with your biceps, and you're going to do curls. If I do, you know, 25 repetitions, that's more endurance activity. I'm training my slow twitch muscle fibers. But if I make the weight so heavy that I can only lift it four or five or six times, then my fast twitch muscle fibers become the primary muscles, muscle fibers that are working in the muscle. And so when there's a lot of high intensity work going on like that, you're using your fast twitch muscle fibers, the type 2 fibers. And when you train those, you get more muscle development, you get more of an anabolic effect, if you will. You start to train for more explosive power, more lean mass gains. And what's interesting is that a lot of sports require both endurance and sort of a sprint interval or an explosive interval. So for many sports, you need really well-trained type 1 fibers and also really well-trained type 2 fibers. So sports like soccer, where there's sort of endurance and sprinting, playing tennis, there's endurance and sprinting, basketball, there's endurance and sprinting, playing hockey, playing ringette. A lot of sports require a combination of endurance fitness and also explosive power in order to uh, be successful. So if athletes like that have to train both fast and slow twitch muscle fibers. So all of this is explained and how to actually make this happen is explained in chapter three of my book, The Machino Optimal Living Program, Seven Steps to a Healthy, Fit, Age-Resistant Body. Now you can download that chapter for free at the link below. And it's really, you know, this type, understanding this is really important to your overall wellness campaign. If you're exercising at all, you want to make sure you're doing it right for the outcomes that you're after. So the chapter is really invaluable. It will enable you to achieve the exact results that you're looking for. And I also included in that chapter a sample of a basic program, an intermediate program, and a more advanced training program, depending upon where you're starting from. It's really a must read for anyone incorporating exercise into their program, for young athletes, for older athletes, for adults trying to get fit. So download the chapter, it's there for free, and I think everyone should read it if they're involved in physical activity so they can really make sure that they're training in a way that's going to give them the best results. Now, machinohealth.com, you'll also see my, uh, my other research review papers, footage from my live professional seminars, other downloads, resources, and videos I've created. They're all there for free to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All my research review papers and teaching materials are complete with all the scientific references. So you'll see you're getting only evidence-based information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So you should use MachinoHealth.com as an ongoing, reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.